Hi everyone, Leanne the Barefoot Medium here, just um, going live with Temple TV's manifesting show. Um, so I am going to leave, uh, give you a few minutes to come and join me for today's show, all about how to manifest and co-create your reality, your dreams, your desires, your goals. Um, in your everyday life. Hi Faith, welcome, thank you for joining me. Um, so for those who have just um, come online, I will give you a few minutes just to get yourself prepared and um, come and join me. Good morning Faith. And um, I am going to, as I said, talk today about manifesting and co-creating with the universe. Hey Frank, long time no see. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, yeah, so I want to talk about um, some practical tools and techniques and support you with manifesting, co-creating and, um, you know, working out where your thoughts, where your emotions and where your actions are and whether they're moving you towards what you want or away from it. So, um, hi Frank, thank you so much for, for joining me for today's show and what I want to do and what I always start with is a little bit of talking and just bringing through what spirit would like me to share with you today. And so what I am drawn to talk about is purpose, okay? And what I want to talk about with purpose is knowing what your purpose is in life. And what it is that you want to do. What's your goal? What's your desire? What is it that you're passionate about? Now, the very first thing that we really need to do in manifesting is be clear and direct about what it is that you want to create. And it might be around love, relationships, family, home, finances. You know, I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that want to create or manifest more money in their life and that's usually the top thing people talk about. And I know I've got a few more people who've joined me so just comment below um, the video here so that I know that you're here and who I've got. Um, and so when we get clear, we really need to sit down and look at whether something is what you're interested in or if it's someone else in your life who gives you an idea or even a person you come across, uh, an opportunity you get offered, um, your partner, your family, is it expectations that they have about what they want you to do rather than it being your goal, your desire, your passion. Um, good morning, Tony and Michelle. Thank you for joining me. You know, so that's the very first thing that you have to do when we look at how do we manifest and co-create with the universe. And the universe is just like a big mixing pot, you know, where we put things into it that we want, that we desire, that we, you know, uh, choose to experience in our life. And we mix it on up. And sometimes we keep focusing on the mixing and try to control what it is that we want and how it needs to come in rather than putting it in the bowl and allowing the universe to bring it to you when you're aligned. Now, what do I mean by aligned? And I want to keep this really simple for you guys. And alignment just means your thoughts, your emotions, 
because your emotions are what help create your vibration or what energy you're projecting out to the universe. Um, your emotions and your actions, are they all moving you towards what you're asking for? Okay, so what I want to do for those of you who are joining me for today's show is I would like you to comment on this video what one thing do you want to manifest or create in your life right now? Is it better health? Is it more money? Is it a new job? Is it a new relationship? Is it travel? What, what is it that each of you want to manifest and co-create with the universe? So I want you to put that in the comments because I want to check in on how clear and how direct you are with what it is you're asking for. And, you know, sometimes when we ask the universe, we go, you know, I want more money, 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 whatever it is, or I, I want a new job, I want a new job, I hate this job, I want a new job, I hate this job, I want a new job, I hate this job. What is it that your thoughts are putting out there? It's a mix of vibration or a mix of intention or a mixed desire. And the first one with the I want more money, I want more money, I want more money, it's got a little bit of desperation energy with it in terms of the feeling of it. And so the universe goes, take a breath and allow us to support you and bring you what it is that you want. Okay, so we've got Tony saying I want more money, which is interesting given what I was saying. And then Michelle, a new job would be good. I think I'm tuning in energetically to all of you guys that are here, which is great. And that's my intention with these shows. Uh, faith, clear communication with my spirit team. So, Faith, I want to say to you, clear communication in your physical world will help with your spiritual world. Okay? So, going back to what we ask for, I want more money, I want more money, I want more money, I want more money. What emotion is attached to that thought that you're putting out or sending to the universe and saying, here's what I want, here's what I desire. Um, is it, hi Janine, welcome. Um, is it desperation, is it fear, is it lack, I don't have this and I want more, or is it coming from a heart space where you're going, I would like or I want more financial flow because it will allow me to what? More money will allow you to get your basic needs met, pay my electricity bill, pay my rent, pay my mortgage, pay the water bill, go out and have fun, serve more people, okay? Um, and when I say serve more people, I mean help people if that's part of what you want to do because even as spiritual beings, we have to allow ourselves to receive that and believe that we're worthy of receiving it and having it. Okay, so Michelle says more money will relieve worry and stress. And so you make a really good point, Michelle. Your, the vibration or the message that we send spirit is, or the universe is saying, I want more money because I'm experiencing worry and stress which is a low vibration, 
fear-based, head-based logic, uh, fear, lack, don't have, worry, stress. Whereas if we said to the universe, I would like more money to allow me freedom and to thrive and be in peace in all areas of my life. That has a higher vibration that comes from a space of love rather than fear, okay? So, Janine, I know you've just joined us. Please comment below what you would like to manifest so I can support you in that. Frank, so Michelle... Um, I'll just finish with Michelle first. More money will relieve worry and stress. You're sending a mixed vibration to the universe where you're saying, I want this, but I'm worried and I'm going to stress about whether I can receive it or whether you'll bring it to me. Okay, we need to get really clear and really direct. And Ms. Shell says, yes, thank you. It is fear-based. But, and I'm going to pull all of you up on the word but. But is doubt. So, but, if I am not focused on these things, I can spend more time freely with my children. Okay. So, Michelle, just to get you clearer, I would like more money... So I can focus on spending more time freely with my children and enjoy or love. Okay, so we don't want to say what we don't want there, okay? So Michelle, I want you to take some breaths and get another, have another go at your intention. And I'm just going to go to Frank for a moment. Frank, successful transition to new business space. Okay. Um, so what I'm feeling with that, Frank, is that is there a need to transition to it? Transition means that it's going to take time. Just a question that I'd like to ask. Because what if we just say successful new business, commence work in my successful new business venture, okay, more direct, more clear, because I feel like there's a little bit of a vibration of waiting or needing to make it harder or more difficult, okay, so um, just to switch there in, in mindset for you and I know that you understand that and I'll get to some other things later Hi Val Hola amiga Como estas? Um, we are talking today Val about manifesting and creating with the universe so is there something you want to create and comment below what it is you want um, Desley Good morning if you can comment below as well, because I would like to be able to support you in co-creating your reality. Um, now I want to go back a little bit. Um, okay, we've talked to Michelle. And I want to also give you some tools and techniques in this first section. Okay, so how do we... And this is what Spirit's just saying. How do you ensure that you focus on your purpose and you keep your thoughts positive? The best way to do that is to ensure that you're in the moment, in the present. Now, when we're in worry or fear or panic or stress or overwhelm, we often are focused on the future, on tomorrow, and not today. We're also focused on the past, what's happened before. So worry is often about what's happened in the past. 
and stress about how it's going to happen or stress because you're worried about tomorrow, yeah, and you're not in the present moment and you're not recognising what it is you have right now to appreciate and you're focused on what you don't want or don't have, okay? So when I say tools and techniques, how do we get back to the present? It's through your breath. So how many of you are aware of your breath in your everyday life? When you speak, when you are with other people, and Faith, this will help you as well if you're still on the call, how many of you breathe consciously and are aware of how deep your breath is? Does it go right down into your belly? Or are you taking really shallow breaths that come up to your chest or even in your throat? When you speak, are you taking breaths and being conscious of the words or the story that you're telling? Okay? What story are you giving the universe to manifest? If you can breathe, and become more aware and more present to your words and your thoughts and the story that you're telling, whether it's yourself or other people, you will be able to change the story to something more positive, more uplifting, more encouraging. Okay? So you would be aware of when you want to use the word but, which is doubt, and change it to the word and. So when you're breathing and you hear your story, say, but I can't, that's fear and that's doubt. Take a breath, cancel, clear and delete it, Come back and tell yourself a new story. And I can do this or take this action or feel this way today and in this moment. And I can feel peace and trust that the universe will bring it to me. Okay? The other way that you can shift your thoughts or your story is through affirmation cards. And so this is just uh, one set of affirmation cards that I have, uh, which is my deck, the thought alchemy. And alchemy means changing something from one form to another. So, for example, if I was to choose an affirmation for all of you, I am grateful and appreciate every relationship and experience for its gifts. Okay? So there's someone on the call that needs to work with this affirmation. I am grateful and appreciate I'm grateful and appreciate every relationship and experience for its gifts. So when we experience something that we don't want in our physical world, whether it's a relationship that feels hard or stressful or is not what we want or an experience that is different to what we, we wish we had, stress, no money is an experience, um, a job you don't like is an experience. So when we have that, we need to look at what is the opportunity or what is the gift or what is the what is right about the relationship what is right about the experience that you're having 
it might be as simple as it's an opportunity to change your story. It might be an opportunity to look at what it is you want to experience work-wise, relationship. It might be an opportunity to show you what you don't want so you can focus more on what you do want. And when you're able to sit in appreciation for what you have got, so appreciating the five, ten, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever money you have in your wallet, appreciating what you do have will allow it to grow and gratitude for what you have. I'm grateful for the job I currently have. And I appreciate the new one that's coming my way. Okay? It shifts your vibration and it tells the universe a very different story. We then need to look at the steps that you take to get there. Okay? And I'm just going to scroll. Pleasure, Frank. Um, Michelle. Okay. I would like a new job so I can use my talents to help others and be free from financial concerns and able to enjoy my time with my children. Michelle, much better intention or goal setting. I would just remove the word concerns because it's low vibrational. Yeah. Tony, I want more money to enable me to live a more full, fulfilling, loving life with my husband and family. Beautiful. Uh, Val muy bien, te voy a invitar conmigo cuando estoy en... Sí, ah, beso a... Sí, ok. Um, Val, uh, yo envío un mensaje después uh, acerca de tu visita a Santa Marta. Um, absolutely, would love to talk to you about coming to visit and a kiss and a hug for you too. Okay, um, anytime, you are so welcome. Okay, uh, Janine, I am focusing on slowing down. Oh, slowing down is a good one. Okay, and I'll bring in that in a minute. And being more joyful and peaceful, specifically with home life and children. Um, that's okay, Janine, that you've got a busy morning. Yep. But, I'm going to pick you up on your but, I want to just say come back to it later. I am focusing on slowing down and being more joyful and peaceful with my home life and children. So, when we say slow down, I want to talk about busyness. And when we co-create and manifest with the universe, sometimes our actions are not aligned with what we want to achieve because we fill our life with different things that are not joyful, that create stress, create, um, you know, stress, uh, worry, or things that feel heavy for you or fear. And so it's really important that you not only take a breath and look at your thoughts, but you also look at your feelings, your emotions, and your actions. What is it you do every day? And are those actions moving you towards what you want to create or away from it? Or are you being distracted by other people's needs, wants, and desires rather than focusing on your own, okay? And I know children and family are important because they have needs and wants as well that you're sometimes responsible for or that you are responsible for. And it's important that mum or you, whether it's mum or dad or whoever, Put your needs, your desires, especially after, around self-care, first. Because the more you look after you, 
the more you have to give to others. And so I want you all to be aware of whether you're just filling your day with busyness or if you're doing things that you're passionate about. Do you love it? Do a check. Am I loving this? Or do I feel really, uh, it's something I have to do? If it's something you have to do, ask yourself, is it something you can change and do differently? Is it something you can get help with and ask for help with? Or is it something you can completely stop and let go of? Because often there are things that you can stop doing and the world won't stop, okay? Things will continue to move forward. It's just that busyness, okay? So that's a little bit for you, I feel, Janine. Now, um, Faith says, thank you. Let go of old story. Yep, absolutely. Let go of old story. And I change it to the new story. Yeah, so just start telling yourself a new story and catch yourself. You know, in the past, we might have experienced, um, you know, relationships where there was hurt and pain or blame or jealousy or criticism or whatever. Uh, we can continue telling that story about our past or we can start in the, in the very moment catching that old story and going, no, no more, okay? And I'm going to start telling a new one. I am fully appreciated by all the people in my life, my friends, my family, my colleagues. I'm fully appreciated, loved, supported, worthy, etc., um, I am so incredibly abundant. When you start telling that new story, it gives the universe a new vibration, a new goal to work with. They're like, oh, okay, she's changed the story or he's changed the story. Okay, so give yourself an opportunity to do that. Jesley says, and bear with me while I put these back on, I've been more aware now after you said let go of the control, yeah, and control is a really big um, action or a sabotage pattern action that many people take to get what you want by doing, 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 but it's not, and it's not in the flow that, or the universe's timing, or it's um, not the right path for you to take and you're trying to make it happen if the universe is bringing it to you it will be really quick and easy for you to manifest and create and the universe will just bring you what you're asking for easy with joy and love and and ease and grace when we're in physical busy action control stress panic overwhelm that's when we go into that control and it's hard work and you're struggling to get it done. Um, and Desley's awesome saying that she's been working on letting go of control and going with the flow and it's working. She feels less stress and what I needed to happen did. Yay! Awesome. Congratulations, Desley. Um, absolute pleasure. Um, awesome. So uh, it does work. If you stay present, um, then it will really work for you. And Val says, yes, every experience is an opportunity to learn something new about yourself, others, and a situation. Absolutely, sweetheart. Um, you'll be pleased to know I, I've spent the last two mornings teaching English with some uh, Colombian students, some, some kids in, of various ages, so uh, that's been a, a lot of fun and a new experience for me, which then provides a beautiful gift and a beautiful opportunity for me to go, is this something that I want to do? Okay. Uh, Desley says, LOL, I've got $3 in, my, in your wallet. <laughs> I've got everything I need. You do indeed. And that $3 will grow once you're grateful for it. Uh, Rebecca, you're definitely speaking to me right now. I needed to hear this. Thank you. Pleasure. 
Um, I am just connecting with spirit and really just bringing through what everyone needs to hear today. Um, Faith. I communicate openly, freely and authentically from a place of love. Absolutely. I communicate openly, freely and authentically in all my relationships from a place of love. Beautiful. Janine. You couldn't be more correct, Leanne. Okay, I'm trying to stop self-sabotage. Okay, so Janine's acknowledging the busyness pattern or the control pattern and the need to ask for help. Um, And when we ask for help or when we're willing to do that, it allows change and transformation to come in. Okay, and I'm going to pull both Janine and Tony up on trying, 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 trying. Okay, so let me give you an example of what trying sounds like, looks like, and feels like to the universe. When you say, I want more money, I want more money, I want more money, I'm going to try and let go, 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 I'm going to try and let go. Yep, I've still got a hold of it though. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do this, I'm going to try and stop this. Okay, I stop for a minute and I go back to it. Because you're trying and you're sending out a message, the feeling is, I don't think I can do it. I really don't believe that I can stop this behaviour. Or I really don't believe that I can stop the busyness. I really don't believe that I can start putting myself first. Yep. So both Janine and Tony, I would like to ask you to be willing to do rather than try. Okay? So when you say the word try, stop, and change it to I can start putting myself first. Janine, I can stop self-sabotaging. It's a choice in every given moment. It's an absolute choice. It's a real struggle. So, Tony, again, you're putting out struggle energy to the universe and the universe is going, okay, she needs to struggle to get this. So we're going to give her more and more and more and more struggle. Okay? And so that's exactly what you're going to get. Because you're asking the universe and you're sending that out there through your words and that vibration or that feeling of low, fear-based struggle. I have to try, I have to try, I have to try, I have to try. Uh, I'm going to fail, I'm going to try, I'm going to fail, I'm going to try. Okay? Rather than saying, I can do this. Okay? Um, okay, Val. Ooh, I like that. I am so incredibly abundant. You are indeed. I am going to put that on my mirror. I love that uh, affirmation. Perfect. I am so incredibly abundant. I am so incredibly uh, present. I am so incredibly worthy. I am so incredibly clear. Uh, I am so incredibly focused on my purpose. Okay, Frank, I am successful in my new business space. Okay, what does success look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like for you? So when we manifest and when we create, what does that need to look like and feel like at the end? Okay, so Frank, for you... What does success look like and sound like? Because what the universe is asking you do, to do is understand or show them that you have an understanding of what that success will look like, feel like and sound like for you. Okay? Now, for those of you who are still on the call... I am going to do some individual mini readings once again. And before I step into doing that, I know I've given you guys some uh, guidance and insight into manifesting and co-creating what it is you want. Um, Before I do that, I would like to give you the opportunity to hear about 
pleasure, Frank. Um, I would like to give you the opportunity to hear about a new program that I'm going to offer, uh, which will start on the 1st of June. Yes, the 1st of June. And it's a three-month manifesting boot camp. So if any of you are interested in receiving more information about my three-month manifesting boot camp, then I'd like you to comment yes below this video, below, and to let me know that you are interested. What that will involve is some live group sessions like webinars with the group and me, as well as some one-on-one -on -one sessions with me to help you manifest and co-create what it is you want to have and experience an amazing, joyful, loving life and experience. Whatever area of your life you want to focus on, no problem. So comment yes below and I will send you the details as soon as, um, probably tomorrow sometime to be honest because I have some other clients to see today. So just comment yes below. Uh, you'll also get a book and a few other uh, resources to use. I'm incredibly focused on my purpose. I love that. Faith says yes, please. Frank says yes. Awesome. I am also only going to take 15 people into my manifesting boot camp. So if you want in, please say yes. Okay. And first in, first serve, because you guys are getting the information first and then I will go out to my mailing list and all my other clients to invite them into the boot camp but I want to give you um, the opportunity and you will get so much value, so much insight, so much help, so much support to help you co-create and manifest what it is you want, okay? With the help of spirit as well as tools and techniques and practical information you can use in your everyday life. Okay, so enough with that teaching part. What I would like to do now is offer those of you who are still on the call and would like it a reading about um, any area of your life and we will really focus on where you're at with manifesting, co-creating in a particular area of your life. So if you want a one card reading, put yes, a reading please and what area you would like me to focus on and I will do that for you okay and so you know some of you may have seen my beautiful little kitten that I manifested and when we're in alignment with our thoughts emotions and, and actions um, our manifestations turn up immediately the universe is really quick and easy with bringing us what we want, need and desire. So I manifested this beautiful little kitten the same day that I asked for it. So I was talking to a friend at lunchtime and I said to her, I think I might want a kitten or a dog, a puppy um, while I'm here. And she said, oh, what, which one would you prefer? I went, hmm. So I had to get clearer on what it was I wanted to create. And I said, okay, I want a kitten. I want a kitten. And um, that was all I said. I let go of it. I didn't think about it again at all. Completely forgot that I even asked for it. And um, was coming back into my apartment block later that night um, after going out for dinner and was offered this beautiful little kitten by one of the, the um, security guys on the in the building. So it was that easy. So interesting, hey? Okay. Uh, Faith, yes, reading please. Communication. Okay. Faith, I'm going to do for each and every one of you that wants a read, I'm going to give you one word, which is the vibration you need to focus on or shift depending on what comes out. So faith for you, what you're being asked to do in order to create the communication that you desire in your life is to focus on truth. 
So communicate exactly what it is that you feel, need and desire from your heart openly and honestly. Even if that means that you feel sad, you feel hurt, you feel angry. It's not something that you own like I am. Whatever you put after I am is what you create. I feel angry, I feel hurt, I feel happy, I feel joyful. As soon as you speak your truth, it's done, it's out, it shifts. It allows you to then focus on something different. So what spirits or what the universe is guiding you to do, Faith, in order to create what you're asking for is to be absolutely open, honest, truthful from your heart space in all of your communications. And to do that, the affirmation, and I'm drawing this from my Thought Alchemy cards, which if you uh, like them, are available for purchasing on my website, thebarefootmedium.com.au. And Faith, your affirmation for this month is I am willing to live my life with passion and honesty. So I think we've got a bit of a theme coming up. I'm willing to live my life with passion and honesty. It's for you, Faith. And then the action that they're asking you to take is, this one here, I nearly put it back, is cleanse. Okay, so faith, I feel like there's a need to cleanse and clear the thought patterns, cleanse and clear the old stories, cleanse and clear your vibration, by which means your, your emotions. I want you to be looking at how can you lift and raise your vibration. In other words, what is it that you can focus on that feels loving, joyful, passionate and honest for you? Okay, that will help shift you to where you want to be. Okay, Frank says, yeah, oh, no, we've done faith. Okay, uh, Tony, yes, I would love a reading, please, on love and relationships. Okay, Tony, what you need to focus on is, or let go of, huh? judgment separates. So when we judge um, and we all do it, it's okay. Judgment is about uh, believing, and in your case, believing something to be right or wrong, and be looking at yourself as being wrong rather than what is right about you. Or in your relationships, what is wrong about your love and relationship area. When you're not willing to acknowledge where you're judging, okay, and judgment is just about removing you or taking you away or separating you from your true self. Now, your true self knows what is right about you. Your true self knows what is right about your love and relationship area. So what Spirit's asking you to do is let go of any self-judgment in particular or any stories about the past where you've judged yourself as wrong, okay, or others as wrong. Be willing to forgive. The affirmation for you, Tony... Huh, same one. I'm willing to live my life with passion and honesty. So same as faith, but a different context. So I want you to work with that affirmation for the next month. I'm willing to live my life with passion and honesty. Okay? And the action for you, Tony, is meditate. <laughs> So, Tony, you're being asked to meditate. Now, meditation is about stilling the mind, okay, and getting back to the breath. So what I want you to be doing is focusing on your breath and slowing your breath 
down so you can become more present to the words you're using and the story you're telling, okay? That will help and support you. Okay, Desley, not really not about that. Was my mum's fifth anniversary of her passing on Friday. Would love a message from her. Okay, okay, Desley. Okay, as I connect in with spirit on that one, I feel that your mother had some difficulty with breathing before she passed. And I want to say that I, I feel like I'm on a bit of a respirator um, and had a short period of time in hospital, okay? I feel like mum wants to say, yes, she's seen you, yes, she hears you, yes, she sees what you're doing, and she wants to say that you're doing the right thing, okay? And she wants to remind you to have confidence in yourself, that you've always been someone who's really responsible. She wants you to know that you, you can have confidence in what you're trying to achieve, okay? Um, in terms of a mediumship read, a full reading, um, I would suggest if you want to connect with mum more fully that you book in for a one-on-one -on -one. Um, I am feeling mum around you and I am feeling like, you know, she's wanting to let you know that things are okay and that she's seeing and hearing you, okay? Um, Janine, yes, reading please, message from my brother or anything I need to hear. Okay, Janine, first thing I'm going to acknowledge is that I've connected with Janine's brother before and I know how he passed, etc., etc., so, Janine, I want to say to you, let go of needing to hear from him, okay? When you get into stress, overwhelm, etc., you hold on to needing to hear from him, okay? And I want to give you a word to say what the message is from him. You need to have patience, sweetheart, okay? He's always around you. He's always there for you to connect with. And you know that and you feel him. Uh, I feel like he's asking you to have patience with yourself right now. You've had and you do have a lot going on. And it's time to breathe and have patience. Okay, that connection comes in when you're clear. Okay. And I want to give you an affirmation to work with. Janine. Um, I nourish my mind, body and soul with more love every day. So Janine, this is your affirmation for one month. Okay? I nourish my body, I nourish my mind, body and soul with more love every day. Okay? I then want to give you an action. Again, Janine, cleanse. Cleanse your thoughts, cleanse your space, your physical environment of things. Cleanse yourself of actions that are not necessary and ask for help and support. Okay. Um, Stephen's just joined us. Just woken up. Ah, nice sleeping. Beautiful. Um, hi, Stephen and Carolyn. I will draw you both a quick message. Okay. So, interesting. Stephen, silence. Uh, so the word for you is silence and we want to talk about silencing the mind, the logical mind. And when you're able to sit in silence and notice and observe what's around you. Okay, so just allow yourself to disconnect from all of those conversations or electronic devices or whatever and just sit and experience silence whether it's for five minutes ten minutes half an hour each day it's not important okay so Stephen is necessary for you to get some silence at the moment Steve uh, Carolyn patience we've got a lot of repeated messages here so you guys are all in a similar vibration uh, patience Carolyn, patience, patience, patience. I feel like I want to say to you, it's coming, it's happening. You just got to get through things, okay? Um, okay. Affirmation for Stephen. 
I am willing to free myself from the past through forgiveness, gratitude and love. So Stephen, that's your affirmation for this month. And Carolyn, your affirmation for this month is I am willing to take positive steps to successfully maintain healthy boundaries. The healthy boundaries are about saying no to things that don't work for you, don't feel right for you, are not moving you towards your goals and desires. So again, Janine, that's a good one for you, learning to say no as well. Stephen, an action for you. Release attachment. So when we're attached to how something has to happen or the way it needs to manifest or, the, or where it needs to come from, we're attached to an outcome. We're attached to a situation. We're attached to an experience. Um, let go and let flow. Okay? You're going up, upstream. <laughs> Carolyn said, yay. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. And Carolyn's action is be flexible, okay? There's a need to be flexible and to go with the flow in amongst the patients, okay? Because I feel like there's some opportunities coming that might be um, might need you to be a little bit more flexible um, with how they come in as well, okay? So I also want to, and I'm just hearing Spirit say go back for a minute just in case she's still here, um, Desley, I think it was, that asked for mum. Yeah, okay. Desley, I want to draw a card for you about what it is you need to focus on. <laughs> so, Desley, the message for you is abundance. So, I want you to focus on abundance. I have an abundance of air. There's an abundance of trees. There's an abundance of... Um, you know, flowers, there's an abundance of water, there's an abundance of grass, whatever it is that's abundant or there's lots of around you will help you to shift your vibration to noticing what's there and what's abundant around you. I then want to give you an affirmation for the month, Desley. I am willing to take loving successful steps towards the new okay I'm willing to take oh, loving successful steps towards the new Jesley and I want to give you an action to focus on or take and it is get creative so Desley, I feel like you, you have a lot of creativity there and creativity comes in many forms, whether it's dance, music, uh, writing, journaling, uh, drawing, painting, whether it's rearranging furniture and designing, whatever it is that you are creative at, get into that vibration. Get creative. It will help you shift into um, allowing creative and different solutions to come in as well. Okay? So, that is where I want to leave things for this week's man or this month's manifesting show. I would love for you guys to record and work with your affirmations, your, your word and your action for the next month and come and join me next month for the manifesting show and let me know what you've managed to create with the universe and how that worked for you. Now, next month, we have the spirit show, the love show and the manifesting show. It's the first Saturday, um, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time or Friday, 5 p.m. Colombian Time. Um, the second Saturday is the love show and the third one is the manifesting show. So join me for all of those. Share the page, share the, the information about um, uh, each of the shows and I may be joined by some other people to share some tools and techniques with you and to, to offer you some mini readings as well 
on next month's shows. So I'm going to leave you with, with that there. Um, and I would like to wish you all a beautiful month and... Um, well, we've just had to do this in time. Do you have a message? Okay. Um, I have someone who's just joined me very quickly, and I'm just going to say, if I say your name incorrectly, Liani, um, a friend's mother recently passed. Does she have any messages for her? I really need your friend to ask that question uh, because I need her permission to go there. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, Frank. We'll do that. Okay. Frank. I want you to focus on harmony, okay? Harmony. Bringing harmony within the body, okay? Um, I want you to focus on harmony with the breath, harmonising your movements with nature, harmonising your thoughts with what it is you want to create with success, um, harmonising your actions with your goals, Okay? Affirmation for you, Frank. I am willing to free myself from the past through forgiveness, gratitude, and love. I feel like there's some things work wise, um, or some opportunities, or experiences, or decisions you made in the past that you kind of. Um, I want to say go into the energy of blame and saying, oh, I made a wrong decision there. Um, nothing's ever a wrong decision. You gathered um, some knowledge, some wisdom, some uh, skills and abilities along the way. There's always a purpose for everything. So just be willing to move into that vibration. And Frank, an action for you. Make a decision. The action you need to take is making a decision about where you want to focus your time, energy and resources. Make a decision about what you're passionate about, not what anyone else wants you to do, okay? Make a decision about whether it's your goal, your desire, or if it's a projection, someone else putting something on you or an expectation of you. Focus on that, okay? Um... I don't have my glasses on. I'm so sorry. So I hope that helps, Frank. Lilani, is that how you say your name? Um, if you would like a card, let me know, and I will do that. And Tony says, look forward to joining you on the next month. Thank you. And those of you who want to join my three-month manifesting boot camp, I will send you a message with information. Uh, for all of you, Focus on love for the next month. Love what is. Love yourself, love others, love everything and anything that's around you, even the stuff that you don't want. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love the confusion. When you love it and accept it, it transforms into clarity. Okay? So love is what I want you to all focus on. Okay, I am going to leave it there now. Have a beautiful and amazing month. And once again, thank you for joining me. I'm Leanne, the Barefoot Medium. If you want to connect with me further, go on to my website, uh, thebarefootmedium.com.au. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.